Uh, hi. Uh, this is Keizo. Uh, I am the one making drug notes. Uh, and I'm going to try and do a little demo video. Let's see how far I can get. Okay, so you log in or sign up, and this is what you'll see. Um, this is not my actual graph, so not much in here. Uh, this is some info. You can, of course, I'll read it and delete it. Um, Anyway, so this is your, your home screen, and usually there's a daily note, so we can kind of type in here. And let me just get to the cool part. So let's just make a note. Uh, I'm going to make something up. Um, let's see. Rock, comma, wants to buy. Of. And once and delivered uh March first uh to his house in Wimanalo. Okay. And um so let's just click off of that. It's gonna do some stuff and it auto tags, whatever it can find. Um so identifies Barack Obama as a person, commodity composites as a company, Wamanalo's location, of course, pulls out any natural language dates. So uh, it's, that's on March 1st. So that note will again attach to March 1st. And of course, um, you know, if you wanted to, I tab in and say, remind me February 25th. And so then it'll tag that on the 25th and I'll see that ahead of time, of course. Um, uh, so that's the gist of it. Um, these are, are, of course, AI tags. You can do other things like with brackets, you know, that'll be a tag, that'll be a tag, kind of typical of any note taking app. Um, but the cool thing is that adds Barack Obama as a person data type. Um, Juan Manalo is a location, come on class as a company. Um, so and with, with, you know, company is just another, I'm calling them prompts, which is basically a tag and you can add a, somewhat of a data structure. This is a very early um, prototype, but um, you can add contact. Um, this is the format for it to add these um, and phone number. Uh, it's fairly straightforward for now. Um, but now there's these fields uh, under commodity composites. And um, you, of course, can just edit that here. Uh, 808, dot, 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 dot. Um, or, no, sorry. Contact me. And let's put a few. You guys can look up our number. <laughs> uh, and this, of just, of course, throws it in a table on that company page. So it, you basically, it'll sort of naturally build out a CRA, you know, a list of all your people. So that can be your customer relationship um, management tool. Uh, at least that's how I use it. So you kind of, and it's really, you know, all of that happens by itself, which I find great. Um, what else? Uh, Scratchpad is a special kind of block. So it stays, uh, the same over time. So I put my like weekly goals or monthly plan or anything that I want to keep kind of top of mind. Um, and of course your daily note cycle. So like everything goes down in the past, the future is, you know, I got tomorrow's notes so I can, if I have stuff I want to put in tomorrow, go to meeting at 8, um, 8 a.m. I'm not really paying attention to times. I'm not a big planner, but at least this one note will be there. If you hit control return on, um, it'll cycle through some things which you can change in the settings. Um, I like to do this for to do's, um, fairly simple. Uh, what else? Um, it's, it's, I'm all about, you know, very basic things. So, um, we'll see how long this can scale, but right now all of my notes are loaded on this one page, um, which, you know, 
<laughs> right now that's less than a megabyte, but we'll see how long it goes. Uh, okay, when you click on a person's thing, um, it also sh shows little similar tags. So it, without really any data in this uh, this account, it, it doesn't show too much relevant. Um, but as you add more people or more things, it gets more and more relevant. And of course, it does take in um, that extra data you put in into account. So um, it'll kind of all automatically pull out, you know, relationships. Um, let me just, let's add myself. Uh, and my cat, let's see if it'll identify those. Um, slow, slow, slow. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's so little in this, this database. Um, I kind of suspect it. They don't like it. Okay, there it is. Um, yeah, there's, there's not enough things in here to make it interesting, but it, it pulls out pretty relevant information. Um, you know, if you have people with the same last name or, or same phone number or something, it'll kind of identify those kind of duplicates. Um, if you type someone's first name <clears throat> and, um, you know, then you kind of get, get these duplicates, uh, you can add similar or synonyms. So, okay, so it will be a synonym for these gates. Um, and now any, um, basically both of those tags or prompts will get put under backlinks, which is kind of cool. Um, anyways, mm, that's really it. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions.